a train running at 150 km per hour takes 10 seconds to pass a platform. It also takes 3 seconds to pass a man walking at 6 km per hour in the same direction in which the train is going. Find the length of the train and the length of the platform. Let the length of train be x meters and length of platform be y meters. As train and man are moving at same direction, their relative speed is the difference between their speeds is equal to 150 minus 6 km per hour is equal to 144 km per hour. Relative speed in kilometers per hour is converted into meters per second as time is in seconds by multiplying it with 5 by 18. Relative speed between the train and man is equal to 144 into 5 divided by 18 is equal to 8 into 5 is equal to 40 meters per second. In crossing a moving man, the distance covered by train is equal to the length of the train crossed at the relative speed between them. Length of train is equal to relative speed into time, as distance is equal to speed into time. Length of train is equal to 40 into 3 meters is equal to 120 meters. The speed of train is 150 kilometers per hour is equal to 150 into 5 divided by 18 meters per second is equal to 125 by 3 meters per second is equal to 41.67 meters per second. The train crosses the platform in 10 seconds. To cross the platform the train must travel length of the train and the length of the platform. The length of the train plus the length of the platform is equal to x plus y. We have found that the speed of the train is 41.67 meters per second. Forming an equation for the time taken to cross the platform. Time to cross platform is equal to the length of the train plus the length of the platform divided by speed of train. Substituting values determined earlier in the equation formed above. 10 is equal to x plus y divided by 41.67, implies 10 into 41.67 is equal to x plus y, implies x plus y is equal to 416.7. Substitute value of x which is the length of the train which has been found as 120 meters in the result derived above. 120 plus y is equal to 416.7 meters, implies y is equal to 416.7 minus 120 meters, implies y is equal to 296.7 meters. The length of the platform is 296.7 meters. Let us see another example. A train running at 60 km per hour takes 15 seconds to pass a platform. It also takes 5 seconds to pass a man walking at 2 km per hour in the same direction in which the train is going. Find the length of the train and the length of the platform. Let the length of train be x meters and length of platform be y meters. As train and man are moving at same direction, their relative speed is the difference between their speeds is equal to 60 minus 2 km per hour is equal to 58 km per hour. Relative speed in km per hour is converted into meters per second as time is in seconds by multiplying it with 5 by 18. Relative speed between the train and man is equal to 58 into 5 divided by 18 is equal to 29 into 5 divided by 9 is equal to 145 divided by 9 meters per second. In crossing a moving man, the distance covered by train is equal to the length of the train crossed at the relative speed between them. Length of train is equal to 
relative speed into time, as distance is equal to speed into time. Length of train is equal to 145 divided by 9 into 5 meters is equal to 725 divided by 9 meters is equal to 80.56 meters. The speed of train is 60 kilometers per hour is equal to 60 into 5 divided by 18 meters per second is equal to 50 divided by 3 meters per second is equal to 16.67 meters per second. The train crosses the platform in 15 seconds. To cross the platform the train must travel length of the train and the length of the platform. The length of the train plus the length of the platform is equal to x plus y. We have found that the speed of the train is 16.67 meters per second. Forming an equation for the time taken to cross the platform. Time to cross platform is equal to the length of the train plus the length of the platform divided by speed of train. Substituting values determined earlier in the equation formed above. 15 is equal to x plus y divided by 16.67 implies 15 into 16.67 is equal to x plus y implies x plus y is equal to 250.05. Substitute value of x which is the length of the train which has been found as 80.56 meters in the result derived above. 80.56 plus y is equal to 250.05 meters, implies y is equal to 250.05 minus 80.56 meters is equal to 169.49 meters. The length of the platform is 169.49 meters. Let us see another example. A train running at 77 km per hour takes 12 seconds to pass a platform. It also takes 4 seconds to pass a man walking at 5 km per hour in the same direction in which the train is going. Find the length of the train and the length of the platform. Let the length of train be x meters and length of platform be y meters. As train and man are moving at same direction, their relative speed is the difference between their speeds is equal to 77 minus 5 km per hour is equal to 72 km per hour. Relative speed in km per hour is converted into meters per second as time is in seconds by multiplying it with 5 by 18. Relative speed between the train and man is equal to 70 to into 5 divided by 18 is equal to 4 into 5 meters per second is equal to 20 meters per second. In crossing a moving man, the distance covered by train is equal to the length of the train crossed at the relative speed between them. Length of train is equal to relative speed into time, as distance is equal to speed into time. Length of train is equal to 20 into 4 meters is equal to 80 meters. The speed of train is 77 km per hour is equal to 77 into 5 divided by 18 is equal to 385 divided by 18 is equal to 21.39 meters per second. The train crosses the platform in 12 seconds. To cross the platform the train must travel length of the train and the length of the platform. The length of the train plus the length of the platform is equal to x plus y. We have found that the speed of the train is 21.39 meters per second. Forming an equation for the time taken to cross the platform. Time to cross platform is equal to the length of the train plus the length of the platform divided by speed of train. Substituting values determined earlier in the equation formed above. 
12 is equal to x plus y divided by 21.39 implies 12 into 21.39 is equal to x plus y implies x plus y is equal to 256.68 substitute value of x which is the length of the train which has been found as 80 meters in the result derived above 80 plus y is equal to 256.68 meters implies y is equal to 256.68 minus 80 meters is equal to 176.68 meters. The length of the platform is 176.68 meters.